the possessment of an evil, I mean, of a very noble clan leader. The weird things happening throughout the clans, and that might erupt into a war. The multiple stories and what seems to be happening, and something that is totally wrong with Star Clan. <music> Well, hello fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome, epic Warriors book. Warriors, the Broken Code Book 3, Veil of Shadows by Erin Hunter herself slash himself because Erin Hunter's multiple people. And well, let's get right on to it. Ah, uh, Warriors is one of my favorite book series as sagas like ever, and The Broken Code is no exception. In fact, I think it made a big return from A Vision of Shadows, because A Vision of Shadows wasn't that good. They killed the main villain in like two books early, so yeah, I'm just gonna say that. And this one was action-packed. Bramble Star, the noble Sunder clan leader, has been possessed in the last, last book, in the first book of The Broken Code. So what we now know is that First of all, Bramble Star is totally corrupt, and he's not Bramble Star, and he even banished his own mate. Even though you know he's technically, since he's not Bramble Star, Squirrel Flight is not her, his mate. But he basically banished a bunch of innocent people, and is driving at people, and basically making the clans that it might result in a war. And he actually enjoys in seeing people in pain so yeah it's it's not great right now around the clans and there's only there's a couple main characters who are seeing what is going on so first of all i'm gonna split this review into two parts the first part is i'm gonna talk about well uh, who i think bramble who have, who i think is possessing bramble star and second i'm gonna talk about um, the actual story and my review. So, yeah, well, first of all, Bramble Star, conspiracy theories. So, first off, Bramble Star, oh gosh, okay. So, here's a couple things that I do think. So, so obviously, the first name that comes to mind is Ashfur, because obviously, it's the most obvious choice. The only two cats that ever loved Squirrel Flight, and since Whoever is possessing Bramble Star is definitely showing these loving actions. It, it, it basically seems that whoever this new corrupted and possessed Bramble Star is definitely loves Squirrel Flight. So we're thinking Bramble Star and Ashfur, basically. But the thing is, Ashfur isn't evil. Well, he did make some mistakes, but he did go to Star Clan. He didn't go to the Dark Forest. That's my first point. Second point. When we all went, when I think Jay Feather went to Star Clan and saw Ashford there, he was like, Why is he there? He's evil. And I, I'm pretty sure Blue Star said that he made some mistakes, but he's all okay now and he's chill. So, yeah, I don't think it's Ashford. But then, who is it? Well, here's some of the behaviors. Ta um, this new Bramble Star, the one who is possessing Bramble Star, is first off, he's lazy. He sometimes doesn't really care about the clans, and he just lazes around his den, moping around and sleeping and eating. So, uh, that's not really like any of the main villains we know. Like, for example, Dark Tail or Tiger Starf, or or someone like that, because they're just like savages and they're not. They aren't lazy. And second point. Um, he is very vicious in battle. He's incredibly skilled in battle, and he killed the warriors who went after him and tried to kill him. So, yeah, we're definitely feeling it. He is a good warrior. And third, he might be a rogue because he doesn't. He seems to be surprised that there there are herbs, in literally the medicine den. If he was or used to be a warrior cat, that 
well, that wouldn't work out. That's yeah, yeah, duh, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, I don't think it's Ashford. I don't think it's one of the main villains like Tiger Star or Dark Tail either. What do I think? Well, I think that it might be some corrupted cats from the tribe of endless hunting. I think, because why? Because you know, remember you probably remember Rock from the Omen of Stars, and even before that, the Power of Three series of seasons of Warriors, and he was a ghost, just like just like a lot of ghosts in this series, and there he's moping around the lake. And but he is wise and he's not a bad person. But I, I don't think that all of the, well, tribe of endless hunting long dead cats are good. Some of them might be pure, undiluted evil, and some of them because you know like some of the warrior ancestors go to Star Clan. Most of them do, in fact. But some of the really bad ones go to the dark forest, and we didn't know about the dark forest until the Power of Three. So what if there is a dark forest version of the tribe of endless hunting? That is a completely new evil that we have to deal with, and it would make sense because the tribe of endless hunting didn't know about herbs first of all, and it might be some sort of some sort of like. And a good warrior, tribe of Lent and endless hunting, were training to be sharp claws, which is basically a warrior who fights, and so that might make sense. And if it's a completely new character that we don't know about, it would make sense that he's lazy, vicious, and evil at the same time, because we don't have a character that's lazy, vicious, and evil at the same time right now. So yeah, that's the theory that I have, and I know, I know, um. And also about the con- the return of a controversial character that we all heard about on the internet from the author herself. That was the hint. Well, to be honest with you, I don't think that the return of the controversial character necessarily means that that controversial character is the one that is controlling Bramble Star. Why? Because well, if my theory is correct, and it might be someone with you know, it might be. Someone from the tribe of Zend and Endless Hunting. That means that Rock might return. We haven't seen him in like two seasons of Warriors, so that means that he might return. He's a controversial character, most definitely. So he might return and warn Jay Feather or or someone that that who who we're de- dealing with is that kind of that kind of cat. Of course, in the end of book five, Squirrel Flight did say that she has a feeling that she knew who it was, and she was like, "I I know who it is." And then the book ended as a cliffhanger, as usual in the Broken Code season. Well, to be honest with you, that might ruin my series, but to be honest with you, I have no idea how that could be possible, except maybe, um. It's something that we don't know about, a completely new character, and that basically goes along with my theory: a completely new character that we have no idea about yet, at least. And return of a controversial character could be any other controversial character, and in my theory, Rock. So that's my theories about Bramble Star. Yeah, who's well possessing it anyway. And of course, I had some other thoughts like Asher, for example, but he's he's so unlikely. And there's Scourge, for example, because he wasn't a clan cat, but he was definitely not lazy and definitely did not love Squirrel Flight. In fact, she wasn't even born then. And Dark Tail, Hawk Frost, um, Dark Stripe, then that that none of that makes sense. So that's how it makes sense of it, and that's my theory. Now the second part. So, second part of the video, basically my whole review. So I read it and it, the suspense was crazy, first of all. And it was a nice change that this time Thunder Clan is corrupt and Shadow Clan is innocent. Because in the last, like, you know, five seasons of Warriors, we had... Ty- um, Shadow Clan has a problem. It's either Dark Tail, Tiger Star, they're just corrupt. They're usually corrupt. They're usually the bad guys. The Shadow Clan isn't necessarily bad, 
but someone bad is controlling Shadow Clan. So what that means is that Thunder Clan is usually the ones who's, who takes in the refugees and fights back. And this time it's the reverse. The evil and the and Thunder Clan. Thunder Clan isn't necessarily evil, but is led by a leader who's been possessed. And the Shadow Clan, meanwhile, are gathering the refugees and people who've been kicked out from their clans because their their blood is not pure or they're, they're, they, they broke the code or they just aren't likable or whatever. And they're put together in Shadow Clan and now Shadow Clan's the ones who's fighting back against the corruption. So, um, you know, a little bit of a reverse twist there that you know, is kind of obvious when you think about it, but it is definitely fresh. So that is one thing I appreciate about the about the entire Broken Code series, and I will enjoy it more. And, well, are there any more things to say? I mean, I definitely liked this cliffhanger from last time, where Shadow Side was basically almost killed. And that was a really good one, Aaron Hunter. You almost got me there, but... You know, Shadow Side comes back and all that good stuff. But I guess, well, the broken code, we finally capture whoever it is who is possessing Bramble, so we finally capture him. So, I mean, GG, we, we captured him. Is that, uh, is, that, is, that, is that over? Are we finally done with this? Let's just say probably not. He seems to have some backup plans. So, yeah, I have a really bad feeling about that. But... Yeah, that is it for today. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Awesome book, as usual. Aaron Hunter made a big return from A Vision of Shadows because not that it was bad, but it was just not that good. So, yeah. And The Broken Code is awesome. You should definitely read it. If you haven't read The Warrior Saga, definitely read it. And, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye.